everyone. I'm a woolly mammoth. You can call me Wooly. My name says it all. I'm big, I'm fuzzy, and I'm lost. I mean, really. How can I find my herd if everything's covered in snow? Welcome to the Ice Age. 100,000 years ago, I guess. Eep. Hey, what's the big deal? <laughs> My long shaggy hair and my thick layer of underwool keeps me dry and warm. So throwing snowballs won't do anything! Plus, I have special skin which oils up the hair to make me even warmer. Yeep. Aha! I have an idea. Mmm. <laughs> 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 I use my super long tusk to shovel the snow to uncover this yummy grass. How will I ever be able to eat it all by myself? Ha ha ha. I'm a little bigger than the biggest elephant, but my ears are much smaller than an elephant's. I come from the cold northern part of the world, where scientists have found entire woolly mammoths, hair and everything, frozen in the ice. People usually get mixed up and think I'm a dinosaur, but I'm really an Ice Age animal. Yeep! Okay, wise guy! <laughs> he got me all right, but at least he knows where the herd is. I thought you knew where they were. Smile at you're staying away from the tar pit, right? Okay, Mom. That's Smilo Dawn. It means knife tooth. Welcome to the Ice Age a million years ago and to my tar pits. The dinosaurs have all along vanished. Mammals like me are all over the place. Stop! You can't go this way. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. You should know that I am a little bit smaller than a lion, but there are some differences between us. Like I'm much, much heavier. And of course, my choppers are huge. Oh yeah, I'm built for ambush hunting. What the? Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. A puddle car? All kinds of animals wander into the tar pits and get trapped. But not me because... Ah! Because your mother told you not to go near them, right? Thousands of Smilodon fossils have been found in tar pits in what is now known as North America. In California, we're the state fossil. Don't forget to wash behind your ears. I hate taking baths. Well, maybe you should stay out of the tar pits and you won't have to have so many. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, oh, uh, welcome to the late Cretaceous period, uh, about 140 million years ago. I live in the land that is now known as Argentina! Uh -huh. <laughs> Yuck! That stuff tastes like, well, grass. Okay, as you may have guessed, I'm not a herbivore. A plant eater, like those Jubaria. I I'm Gigantosaurus, the longest meat-eating dino who ever lived. You say my name like this, Jake and O. Saurus. It means giant southern lizard. Yeah! Oh. Ah! Phew. I'm as big as a boat, and I'm just as heavy at eight metric tons. You're looking at the biggest head of any theropod that ever lived. But uh, I have the smallest brain. It's about the size of... of a banana. Ah! Hi! I found you! Ah, the only thing that really terrifies us Gigantosauruses, little sisters. Okay, sis, 
Wanna go hunting? Yes! Will you do the roar for me? Sure, sis. Eh, she likes it when I do that. Oh, hello there. Welcome to my home in the Triassic period, 230 million years ago. What a perfect day, huh? It's always like this here. My name is Herrerasaurus. You say that Herrerasaurus. Did you know that I am one of the oldest dinosaurs? Look out! Here I come! Now uh, that's the life. Dino Ball! Whee! <laughs> we'll take that. Theropods. We're always playing games like this. I'm not a big theropod, about the size of an elephant, but my tail is very long. As far as dinos go, I'm one of the earliest ones known. We're in what is now called Argentina in South America. Dino ball! Ah, gotcha. <laughs> See you later. Right, let's get on with it then. I am Eotyrannus, and this is the early Cretaceous period, over 130 million years ago. Oh, these two young sprouts here are juvenile Eotyrannuses. And fine young fellows they'll turn out to be, I can assure you. Today, I'm about to teach these fine young fellows how to hunt the mighty... Comsonathus. Yay! Eotyrannus fossils have been discovered in these parts of what is now Britain. It's where Comsonathuses are found as well. And Comsonathuses just happen to be our favorite meal. Isn't that right, chaps? Now, some of you may think that all members of the Tyrannosaur family are to be found in either Asia or North America. The fact is, we're all over the map. My name, Eo Tyrannus, means early tyrant lizard. Yes, we Tyrannosaurs are certainly the most ferocious carnivores. That means meat-eater to have ever walked the face of the Earth. Why? Eh? What's all that racket then? Where was I? Oh, yes. Now, we Eotyrannuses are a bit smaller than our cousins, the Tyrannosaurus rex. But we're just as skilled as the next chap when it comes to what we're really good at. Namely, hunting the mighty Comsonathus. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do today, right chaps? Now, the most important thing about hunting the mighty Comsonathus Keep your eyes and ears open at all times. Ready, Sprouts? Let the Comsonathus hunt begin! Psst! Hello, I'm the Argentinosaurus. That's Argentinosaurus. I'm trying to hide. It's not a good place to hide. You see, I'm playing hide and seek with my friends, but I don't think I'm very good at it. I am from what is now known as Argentina. That is in South America. Ugh. This is hopeless. I am too big to hide. That's what you get for being over 70 metric tons and 23 meters long. I am even longer than three school buses. Mmm, yum! As a herbivore, I love eating plants. That bush looks too delicious. What are you doing? 
you're eating my hiding place. I am sorry I get so hungry. I need to eat 45 kilograms of food a day. And all this running and hiding, well, it just made me hungrier. Aha, uh -huh. got you both. You two are really bad at this game. I think I'm just too big for this game. But maybe we can play something else. Whee! Whee! <laughs> oh, hi there. I'm an Abelothorus, one of the most ferocious of all the dinosaurs. Achoo! Excuse me. Anyway, I'm one of the fiercest of all the carnivores. That's a meat-eating dinosaur, even though you probably haven't heard of me. This is the late Cretaceous period, about 75 million years ago. By that point, a lot of dinosaurs had already established their reputations, like Tyrannosaurus rex, Triceratops, Allosaurus, you know, the really famous guys. It's harder for me to get noticed, but that's not because I'm not ferocious. I have a pretty wicked roar. Want to hear it? <laughs> You'll have to pardon me. I've got a really, really bad cold. <laughs> One of the things that's unique about abelothoruses is that our heads are mostly empty. You see, our heads are really big with large holes all through it called fenestra, which is great for smelling things like <laughs> afternoon snacks. But it also means that my head is like one giant nasal cavity. And so when I get a cold, it's a whopper. We abelothoruses are found primarily in this part of what is now South America. I hate it when I get one of these colds because there's only one thing you can do and that's take my mom's advice. Get some rest and drink plenty of fluids. I have to get well soon because I want the whole world to know about Abelosaurus. Uh, uh, I'm okay.